Joining us now is MSNBC's Alex Seitz Waltz. And Alex, thanks so much for making the time for us. I want to put this in perspective a little bit because a few months ago, Hillary Clinton's camp said, hey, Bernie Sanders, he's going to appeal to some of the liberal base. He's going to get some momentum, but we're not worried at all. If you add up the support of Bernie Sanders and you add up the support of Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton trails those two when they're combined together, assuming that perhaps some members of the Biden or Sanders camp go to her, it's still even at best in Iowa in, against the field. What is her camp doing about this? Well, they're, they're definitely getting a bit nervous. I mean, I think there was some denial uh, up in Brooklyn about the surging Sanders and the, this question about Biden out there. They, for a long time, have thought uh, Bernie Sanders had a ceiling, and that might be true, but it was one thing in New Hampshire with Vermont right next door, but now that he's within striking distance in Iowa, I think that has to be a little bit uh, scarier. And the, another question, if you dig deeper into this poll from very respected pollster Ann Seltzer, there's a big intensity issue here. Uh, Sanders Sanders is winning among liberals, he's winning among younger caucus goers, and he's winning among first-time caucus goers. That's pretty similar to the coalition that Barack Obama put together in 2008, where he, of course, beat Hillary Clinton in Iowa.